Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna share with you how I make this door sign. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is wear something that you don't mind getting messed up. And then I took a trip to Lowe's to pick up some uh, materials. So the first thing I got is a three inch brush. It was about $1.48. And then I picked up uh, a can of Minwax stain. This is the color Jacobine, and it was about $4.98. All right, and you're gonna need some gloves to protect your fingers and something to stir your can with. Of course, you're gonna need whatever piece of wood you're working on. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby and I um, showed you what it was in a previous haul, so check that out if you need ideas. And then we're gonna go ahead and peel any stickers off clean it up um, if you want to I didn't clean mine off because I don't care about that part I want it to look a little rugged um, go ahead and lay down some cardboard I'm working on a floor so I didn't want to mess up my floor go ahead and put on your gloves and I also forgot to mention you're gonna need a paint can opener if you don't have one of those laying around pick one up from Lowe's it's about 58 cents um, and then let's go ahead and take the top off and stir up our stain go ahead and lay down your wood and just paint Okay, after you've coated um, really well, go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes. I let mine sit for about 10 minutes, but uh, the longer you let it sit, the deeper the stain will be. So um, I came back after that 10 minute um, period and uh, you can grab a rag or just something that you don't care to use again and go ahead and um, rub the coating off so that the material is stained you can see what color it is if you want it darker just go in and repeat the steps until you get it as dark as you'd like but this is perfect for me for what I want to do All right, for the final design, I want a bow on the top, so I measure below that space, and there's about 40 inches left to work with. I'm going to add the word welcome, which is seven letters, so dividing that 40 by seven means that my letters are gonna be about six inches, and the width of this board, I wanna use about six inches of the width of it for my letter space. On your Cricut, go ahead and open up the canvas and write whatever you want it to say. So for me, it's welcome, so I'll go ahead and type that out. Um, I know the font that I wanna use, so I'll go ahead and do that as well. You can print the letters one at a time or you can print them all together, but I'll do them both just to demonstrate. Um, so that's the full welcome. So I'm gonna erase everything except the W. We're gonna go up and adjust the height and the width based on the numbers that we just got from measuring the board. And Cricut automatically adjusts the spacing for the font. So you don't have to do that. I'm using a removable mat by Cricut. This is just peel, uh, peel away vinyl that you can peel and stick and adjust so that you don't have to um, worry about trying to like heat press this or anything like that. We're just gonna stick and go. Okay, and if you print more than one letter at a time, just be sure that you do the print preview screen and make sure that you pull the letters down to exactly where you want it to be on your um, your mat and your vinyl so that it doesn't um, overprint on other letters that you've made.
Okay, and then an easy way to do this if it's your first time is go ahead and cut all of your letters out. Place them along the wood where you want your letters to be and then use like a weight or something. I use quarters just to line them up to make sure that they're going to fit. But if you measured correctly, then this will be fine. I just wanted to show a way to line this up if you weren't sure. Um, and then we're going to just peel the letters and stick them on as you go. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do here is add a two and a half inch bow to the top. You're gonna make a loop. And then after that, you're going to pinch the back. So that's gonna be your space where you, every time you make a new loop, you're gonna put the material there and like squeeze it together. So I made a loop on one side. And then once you do that, you'll make a loop on the opposite side. So every additional loop that you make, just make sure that you're making a loop on the opposite side of that so the bow continues to look full. And so um, you just watch, I'll just keep going through that and eventually I make about six loops and that's about as big as I want this bow to be. All right, so once you have it as big as you want, then we need to make um, two tails for the ribbon. So you're gonna pull the ribbon as long as it takes to make uh, the two tails. Like you're gonna pull a long piece of ribbon and then you're gonna double that, bring the ribbon back up so that um, you have two, but it's still connected at the bottom. We need to cut that bottom off. So we're gonna cut the, the tail at the top and we're gonna cut it at the bottom. You're cutting it at the top because that's where the extra ribbon, like the the reg the rest of the roll is there. So you want to cut that off so you um to cut it away from the roll. And then you're gonna cut it at the bottom so that the tails are actually split. So right now they should be together, and then you want to split the tails into two.
Okay, the next thing we want to do is tie this all together so it doesn't come apart. Um, I used a pipe cleaner. You can use string or wire, whatever you want to tie this with. Um, take it through the middle and then tie it at the back. So you're going to put um, all of the part that you've been pinching and then the two tails or the one tail that's loose. You're going to tie that up um, so that it's all um, nice and tight and together. Um, and then once you, if you use a pipe cleaner or a wire, string, whatever it is, once you twist it, um, you can go ahead and cut off the excess so that you don't have that kind of hanging around or hanging out on the back of your um, bow. All right, and now for the tails, you're gonna put them together, fold them the long way, and then you're gonna cut at an angle, um, but make sure you're cutting, starting at the claw, uh, the closed side of the ribbon. The other side just does not give you that V that you're looking for. Um, and so once you open it up, it should look like this. And then now we're going to make the ribbon that goes around the board that ties the um, bow onto the wooden plank. So go ahead and measure out um, just a, a piece that goes around the board and a little bit longer because we need to tie this. Um, you're going to, if you need to, loosen up the, <laughs> loosen that up that you just put on the back of the bow. Um, go ahead and stick that wire that's on that ribbon, just stick it in there and then pull it through. Um, and then the way this is attached on there, it will allow you to kind of play with the bow, move it to the left or the right, or however you want to um, position it, you will be able to kind of play with it because it's on the ribbon like this. Um, so once it looks good, you position it where you want it, go ahead and tie it at the back. I just did like a little um, bow and then we're done. All right, guys, I hope you like this one. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more just like this. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.